You can make out a silhouette of a person in the shadows. It's motionless, but seems to be staring right at you. You can't just ignore it, Captain. What do you- <laughs> Just burn it! We landed! <laughs> oh my god! Day 12. Holy shit, what has happened? Look at her face! She's, I mean, she's gonna die today, right? I mean, I've been starving for like five days. Oh my god, I called it! <laughs> she is so very dead. Hey, what's up, people? I'm IGP, and welcome to 60 Parsecs. That's right, people. This is the follow-up to the game 60 Seconds, if you couldn't figure that out. 60 Seconds being one of my favorite oddball games. I say oddball because I'm not sure exactly how to classify it. 60 Seconds was a great game, and I am ever so excited to play 60 Parsecs. It comes out tomorrow, so if you guys want to check it out for yourself, links will be down in the description below. Now, that being said, I know what everyone is thinking. A Parsec is a unit of distance and not time. I'm assuming that's the joke. This is going to be great. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do want to see more, let me know in the comments section below and let's start our new adventure okay so just like in 60 seconds we can choose to either i'm assuming space drill is tutorial uh we can either do the regular voyager which is from the beginning we get to choose all of our stuff that we bring along the shuttle with us or we can have random stuff generated for us and we try to survive with that so we're gonna do voyager oh we get to pick our captain hmm oh my god look at this lady captain's goal uh, keep a full crew alive for 30 days. Attributes, agility, intelligence, and strength. Become friends with at least three of your crewmates. Aw. Uh, sends five successful expeditions on a strange new world. Ooh. So I did gather from the trailer that we're going to be able to uh, venture off into other worlds. And actually land and gather resources and talk to other people, discover monsters. It's going to be great. So I kind of want to be the nerdy dude. We need to make intelligent decisions to survive. That's my goal. So we're going to do that. Okay, here we are. And, yep, just like the, uh... I can already grab stuff? What? Right, let me try to familiarize my stuff. I don't know what these things exactly are. I got chemicals. There's a person. There's something I'm gonna need. Alright, I'm just trying to map out in my head what I'm gonna need. I do like the upgrade to the, uh, to keep the same art style in the intro. We're gonna need the handy book. The handbook is literally a lifesaver. At least it was in 60 seconds. Alright, put stuff in. Grab some soup. I'm gonna grab some people first. It's very important that we have people. Handy book. Nope. I can't pick that up. Seriously? Crap. Let me just drop this off. <laughs> He's such in a rush. And I can't grab you. Can't grab you. I can grab more soup though. Soup's good. Is there any water? Do I get any freaking water? All right. I want to grab this person. I want to have a full crew, if at all possible. Oh my God! He takes up three. You fat fuck. Uh, uh, shovel, soup. And more soup. Am I missing someone? Crap, I don't want to be- I don't want to have three, just three people. Somebody, somebody, somebody. Oh, come here. I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Oh my god! Go! No! I think I died. Yep. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Why? What a terrible, terrible start. Oh my god. Uh, grab this. Well, I'll grab this first, and then we'll map out what we need. One person over here. Okay, that's gonna be a, a, a travel and a half. I can probably grab her and the shovel. There's probably someone on the right side here? Yes. Okay, so this guy's in here, all the way across. Okay. I don't know what we're gonna need this lighter for, but I can't really drop it now, so... Alright, it's so a shovel. Yes. And her? Yes! Okay, cool. Let me grab this other guy real quick. I know I'm gonna be able to grab... Ooh, what is that? Grab that. Ray gun. Okay. I might want that ray gun. Oh, I can grab this. No, I can't. Alright. One more person. Come on. I mean, having an extra person means there's more mouths to feed. Oh my god, this woman looks angry. Oh, there's another person. Right, there's five. So someone's gonna stay here and die. That's... That's terrible. That's terrible. Alright, can I make... Can I afford to get anything else? Go, go, go! Yes! Ha 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 ha! I got that weird mon golden monkey thing. Yay! We made it. <laughs> All right. Lighter. Came, uh, come on, Astro Citizen. Light the galaxy. That doesn't help me. Day one. Ah, oh, here's the happy family. What did I get? It was a cow. It is an artifact. Holy crap. Okay, so over here, the star log. Greetings, Astro Computerized Assistant 
reporting for duty. You must be Emmett, right? I am pleased to announce that according to my data, you qualified to become the captain of this vessel. Welcome aboard the escape shuttle, Captain. On behalf of the Astro Citizen program, please accept our apologies for the small inconvenience of being transported 60 parsecs away from Earth. Oh, okay. That's why it's called that. Uh, your mission, find a safe place to land on and then try to contact the outside world. Good news, Captain. The shuttle came pre-stocked with an emergency food supply. Use it well. Two soups. Nice. Please switch on the main computer for further instructions. It is located in the center of the shuttle. Follow the regular, uh, regular rationing protocol and feed your crew. Good luck. You are going to need it, Captain. I know. Uh, so I do know that we have, yeah, so we have stats. We can actually preemptively give them uh, items that we have. And the sock puppets, which played a role in the last one if they started to go crazy, is I think actually something now we can do to prevent going crazy. Like if they're alone. Typically, it was that if they were alone, they would start to go crazy immediately, but I think we're good. Okay, so, baby Bronco, everyone is in good shape, I think. Oh, whoa, what is this? What did I click on? Did I click on the suit? I did. Can't look outside. What is this? System unavailable. Crafting unavailable. Ooh, there's a crafting system. Excellent. Okay, so in case we need something else, we can make it. Okay. This is the exit. Yeah, this is the exit. Okay, let's talk to the computer. The floor is yours, Captain. You should now give a speech that will guide this vessel and its crew through the stars. You've prepared it, of course, right? <laughs> Everyone is really looking forward to your speech, Captain. So am I. This is it. You can really show what breed of Captain you will be on this incredible journey. What kind of speech will you give? Uh, since he seems pretty nerdy, I guess it would make sense to do an intelligence speech. Oh my god, look how miserable the women look. Like, the guys just kind of look confused, like they're just really dumbfounded by the fact that they're in space right now. And these guys are just absolutely pissed off. At them. Okay. We couldn't fit a fifth person here. I feel like we could have. End of day. Ready? No one needs any food. We're doing the intelligence speech. So the end of day. On to day two. Oh, I love this game so much already. 60 seconds was amazing. Anyway. Uh, you knew exactly what to say. Your convincing speech was more than enough to prove your worth as the captain of the last human crew in the universe. That was quite a performance, Captain. Your crew started cheering even before you were finished with the speech. Long live the captain. Filled the cabin. If any sound could travel through the soundless void outside the hull of your ship, that would be it. One thing is for sure, you are ready for any challenge this galaxy throws at you. Captain, the crafting module on the back of the cabin, or the cabin is now available. Uh, it's just like the Astro Citizen materials said, this state-of-the-art machine lets you create and destroy in accordance with the principle of mass conservation. All you need is a little bit of minerals, chemicals, or power. Use it to craft, recycle, and repair your supplies as well as upgrade items and shuttle systems. Baby says he is glad to have you as his captain. Thanks, dude. Thanks, baby. Oh, we can see all the logs. Okay, cool. What is this? Captain's go- oh! Current goal is find an appropriate landing spot to make five successful intelligent attribute decisions. Did I not already do one? I think I did technically do one. Let me open this. What is this again? Oh, here we go. Wow, we get stats. Very futuristic. And then our people. Look at that. Okay, so crafting is available. Craft. Items to craft one. We can make soup. We need 10 science. Is that what that is? I got 22. So we don't need soup right now. Oh, recycling these items. Okay, so there might be junk items that maybe don't have a purpose, that are strictly for recycling. Maybe not. We can upgrade the artifact. What? What does upgrading do? Oh, they can be damaged. Oh my goodness. All right, this is going to get kind of complicated. I remember 60 seconds did get a little bit complicated as it got uh, updated, but if you're familiar with it, you should be fine. Space travel can be dull, but there are still tons of ways to make your own fun. Trust me, I live in a computer. Let's design a game. Your game will need a core mechanic, which uh, could revolve around an item. Get creative. What kind of game will you design? Um, ooh. Let's do a digging game, dude. I'm totally fine with that. Everyone is good, right? I think it's seven mm. days for hunger. Oh, he's super loyal. I love this guy. Um, sanity. <laughs> uh, so, if I recall correctly, it's like six or seven days that they can go without food. It may be different in this game. And then like four days with water or something like that. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, our decision is made. Nobody needs anything. Move on to day three. Perfect. You design your game around the shovel. The core mechanic of your game was tag. Uh, you, being the captain, were always it. You chased the rest of the crew around the shuttle trying to smack them in the head. What the hell? 
You played until no one wanted to play with you anymore. Still the mood on the shuttle lightened. You are now alert. Okay. They don't trust me, right? No, they're fine. Uh, nothing else. We didn't get any new items uh, locked right now until we get to a place where we can land. And no... Oh, wait. I gotta talk to the middle computer. Here we go. Sure, you can uh, pursue Astro Citizen promotional materials when bored, but no, don't put that on. Captain, you have just initiated the Weight Observer 1000 on your wrist. Uh, it's just a marketing gadget, cracked and defective. When you look at yourself now, you see a bulky bulldog. It's supposed to motivate you to lose weight. <laughs> Stop scratching your ear or at least take your shoe off first and do something about this. The ship needs a captain. What in the hell are you talking about? I guess I can't do anything anyway. I don't have the items. What the hell was that about? That was weird. Let's just move on. Day four. People are going to start to get thirsty. How do we drink? I didn't get any water. The Weight Observer 1000 made you see yourself as a bulky bulldog to frighten you into a diet and you embraced it. Your crew watched helplessly as you frolicked, running back and forth and barking <laughs> madly. Uh, you did not inspire confidence. Probably at all. Uh, even though it was over fast, some images cannot be unseen. Literally. I'm encoded with a strict directive to document everything that transpires on this ship. It's a curse, not a blessing. <laughs> Baby remains loyal. Okay, so I must have done something nasty as a dog. All right, what's next? Oxygen level is dropping. We have a malfunctioning filter in the main onboard support circuit for oxygen waste. Moscow for short. <laughs> I don't know who named it, and we cannot rule out sabotage. You should fix it. We can reach Moscow from the zero-g space between the hull and the outer deck. Okay, we got to send somebody out to do it. Let's send this grumpy old woman off to her doom. <laughs> Wait, let me check and see if- is anyone hungry? No, they're- everyone- everyone is fine. I wonder if they each have their own, like, individual lengths of time that they can- that they get hungry. I don't know. Maybe it's- maybe it's just normal. Everyone's the same. So she should be gone. Oh no, she came back. As Megan descended below deck, she noticed an obscene hand drawing of an American and a Soviet. Megan blushed furiously, then tripped into a mass of wires like a fork diving into a spaghetti plate. Still tangled, she forgot to pause the airflow before removing the filter. When carbon dioxide hit her, Megan made a face not unlike the Soviet in that drawing. Uh, many brain cells must have died in that very moment. The sacrifice was not in vain, though. We now have a fully functional air filter. You are still quite alert. Baby is still loyal. You should eat something, Captain. Didi is hungry. Baby is hungry. Megan is hungry. Okay. I know we can skip one day. Let's do it. Let's do every six days. On the sixth day, so 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, those will be the days that we eat. What is this? Captain, there appears to be an error, error. I am broken. Please fix me, system error. Quick action required, system error. Please, Captain, do something. Do something. I'm not sure how long I can stay. Stay operational. Act fast. Uh, uh, intelligence. Go. Oh, uh, wait. We got to end the day first. Yeah, everyone's fine. Let's go. Please don't crash on me, Captain. I always dreaded the black screen and just waiting for the end to show up because I failed. Good morning, Captain. Thank you for fixing that error that made it difficult for me to communicate. You were quite a hacker, I admit. Well, that's a relief. Who knows what would have happened to me if it wasn't for you. Thank you, Captain. Baby's still loyal. Damn right he's loyal. Okay, everyone's going to eat. Uh, soup to all. Uh, yeah, everyone's hungry, hungry, alert and hungry, loyal and hungry. Okay, can't craft anything. Uh, let's see. Well, this night just got interesting. A nightmare wakes you up. As you adjust your eyes to the darkness, you suddenly realize that you are not alone. You can make out a silhouette of a person in the shadows. Uh, it's motionless, but seems to be staring right at you. You can't just ignore it, Captain. What do you- <laughs> Just burn it! Probably some- it's probably one of our people. It's one of our people. Watch. <sighs> Who did I just set on fire? Who did I set on fire? Nobody. Okay. That was a fine night, Captain. When you woke up, you noticed someone standing in the shadows. They, the figure didn't move. It just stared. Terrified, you use a lighter to see the mysterious visitor clearly. Oh, okay. See, I, Im <laughs> I immediately thought we were going to burn him. Believe it or not, your worst nightmare turned out to be just a mask hanging on a coat rack. You were so spooked. Quite funny, really. I'm sure we will laugh about it all tomorrow. Here, I'll start now. Haha. <laughs> it's bizarre that you did not notice the mask on board before, but you're not the one to look a gift horse in the mouth, are you? What the fuck? Just be glad you found it, Captain, and I promise to stop laughing at you sometime next week. So we got a, a gas mask. Oh, we did. Yes! Yes! We got a mask. That's good. Everyone is fine, right? 
Wait, you guys ate though. <laughs> what? You guys ate. How are you still hungry? Uh, that's not good. Your attention is required, Captain. This is most abnormal. We are registering unknown transmissions, but I cannot identify who is sending them, and more importantly, what they contain. It might be a solar flare interference, or worse, a new type of Soviet encryption. We need to decipher these signals as soon as possible. For all we know, our survival depends on it. Uh, who do you want to put in charge of monitoring these communications? Okay, clearly not baby. Let's put in, uh, DD. Let's do DD. I guess everyone should eat some food again. We're, I mean, that's all of our food is gone now. Why, why are they not eating the food I gave them? Like, why are they still hungry? First contact! Captain, you need to see this. I am not easily excited, but this is one of the greatest moments for humanity and human-made AI alike. We are not alone in this universe. Holy shit. We just discovered a uh, 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 alien life, dude. Uh, the signals were intercepted where finally, or the signals we intercepted were finally decrypted. They are alien transmissions, as in coming from other life forms. And no, I do not mean the reds. It's something we have never seen before. There seems to be a number of intelligent civilizations in this galaxy. The signals are coming from everywhere. We can safely assume we are going to meet some of them sooner or later. Our, or rather, your life will never be the same, Captain. You remain alert. Baby's still loyal. Dee Dee is alert. Baby has been taking care of his mental health and is now alert. Holy shit, we got everybody is alert. Except you. How are you still hungry? Hmm? I don't have any more food. What? Captain, one of our non-critical subsystems is having a meltdown. The malfunction is serious, and the system won't talk to me. It has to be dealt with directly. If we don't do anything to break down, we'll spill a brain cell atrophy-inducing coolant into our ventilation system. In other words, you'd better improvise a solution to this crisis. Uh, okay. If I didn't have this, dude, can you imagine? Jesus. So, I guess they're all gonna die. I have no food. They're all gonna starve to death eventually. Is that a bug? Did they- did they mess up? You put your faith in the artifact as the subsystem was melting. Uh, imagine my surprise when the coolant spilled, but stopped on the bubble of protective energy the item produced. I filtered the spillage out of the shuttle. We're in the clear and lucky for you. Brain cell atrophy would just be the worst right now, probably. Look at this dude growing a beard. He is experimental. Yay. What the fuck does that even mean? Great. All right, Captain, I'm picking up a large object of unknown origin not far from us. It's hollow. There could be supplies inside, or maybe even other intelligent life. There's only one way to find out. Should I activate our super fancy tractor beam? Yes, that's its official name, Charlene from Astro Citizen HQ1. Their naming rights at the Christmas raffle. Uh, pick up, uh, there could be supplies inside. Yeah, let's meet some life, dude. We need to meet some life. Sorry, guys. You can't eat. Day 10. Okay, we're still safe. Very good. You pulled the mysterious hollow space thing aboard and opened it. Unfortunately, the astronaut hiding inside had long since perished. Aw. Decomposition in space is interesting, Captain. I gather many useful debt. No, you're right. I'm sorry. May he rest in peace. <laughs> Everyone on board suffered mentally from the experience. Crap. You keep muttering, it could have been me. I'm confused by your hypotheticals, Captain. It still could. Damn. He's not helping. <laughs> My sanity. I'm detecting a massive cylindrical object not far from here. It's alien in origin, no life forms, but there could still be supplies. How will you scavenge the ruined ship? Uh, with intelligence. With intelligence! It's the end, isn't it? Oh, day 11. Okay, we're still doing well. <laughs> hey, we found it. There's a freaking thing. Uh, you cautiously explored the derelict alien vessel, searching for supplies. The rest of the crew came with you, acting as support. But you found only dust and shadows. Actually, there was a lot of dust. Wait, isn't dust mostly shed skin? It looked fresh. Anyway, sleep tight. Uh, Captain, I told you I switched on the crafting system in the back of the shuttle. I thought it's simple enough to be operated by humans, but perhaps I was wrong. Baby remains alert. Baby is still loyal. Okay, so no one's hungry anymore? Son of a bitch. So, let me get- let me get this straight. It was- it's a glitch that it's showing that they're hungry. I'll wait until this thing tells me that they're hungry to eat. Okay, so we should probably craft some, uh, let's craft some soup, dude. We're gonna need it. Yeah, craft some soup. Okay, believe it or not, Captain, uh, but we might actually be in luck. We are approaching a celestial body that appears to be a planet. My scanners detect no life, but some structures on the surface suggest that it was inhabited at one point. The climate is harsh and unwelcoming, but even that beats being stranded in space, right? A landing can be attempted, but setting the coordinates will require some pretty complicated calculations. Luckily, you're pretty smart. 
so you shouldn't have much trouble. Bearing that in mind, should I initiate the landing protocol? Absolutely, my guy. Look at that planet, dude. We're going right to that planet. Uh, okay, so we're gonna craft a soup, which takes a whole fucking day to do. Fantastic. One of you won't starve to death. I guess. There must be a bug. Uh-oh. I just got an achievement, space colonization. We landed! <laughs> oh my god! Day 12. Holy shit, what has happened?! Look at her face! Or is that- is that what she normally looks like? I'm gonna feel really bad. Great job, Captain! While the landing was rough, you managed to sit the shuttle down with minimal losses. Everything appears to be in order aside from some damage to the communication console. I believe it's not beyond saving, although it will take a, uh, me a while to calculate the optimal way of conducting the repairs. Please remain patient, Captain. For now, take a moment to take in your surroundings. Who knows? Perhaps this place will turn out to be some kind of Mootopia. Wait, did I just moo? What a weird glitch. I mean, Utopia, obviously. Crafting completed, new item available. Bam. You are starving, Captain. Better eat and fast. Didi is starving. Okay, great. Reporting glad to have you as your captain. Okay, so now you're loyal, starving, st okay, so never mind. It was not a glitch. Apparently, uh, who am I gonna save? I wanna save myself, because if I die, that's it, right? A strange new world. There is a freaking pyramid out there. Holy crap, expedition! Destination character equipment. So this, oh my god, so this is like 60 seconds meets sheltered. Look at this. All right, so we're gonna go here, dude. Canyon? Uh... Chance for rocks, hazards, there's squid. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty good, dude. Okay, so we get materials this way. That's nice. So it takes both. I'm gonna go for this one, because I want to see the squid. And we're gonna send you with your messed up face uh, over. You get equipment. I don't... You can take a shovel uh, and a mask, right? Yeah, mask would be good. Okay, what does this say? We're getting some communication coming through, Captain. It's very muddled and hard to decipher, but I think I caught a fragment of it. It's a repeating message, and it goes something like this. Cow-like, we-like, no cow, no-like. Huh, I have no idea what that means. If this is some kind of riddle, it surely requires more lateral thinking than I was programmed with. Should we do anything about the message? Yes. <gasps> Wait. No, 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 no. No, 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 stop. Hold on. He keeps saying moo. Are we at a planet? Oh, hold on. Expedition. Change that to this, right? You bring that with you. And then on this, we'll use the mask. Oh, this is perfect. All right, I'm going to save the captain. And we'll see how this plays out. I'm absolutely confident that that artifact... She should bring it with her, right? Okay, she went. The eerie message we got over the comms about somebody really liking cows gave you an idea. You grabbed the mask from your inventory, fitted it on your head, got down all fours, and started mooing. <laughs> I'm not 100% certain that was necessary, Captain, but the fact is the message stopped. Nothing else of note happened, though. So it might have just been a prank at your expense. Captain, the expedition module in the back of the cabin has been activated. My advice? Order someone to put the space suit on and send them outside. We have to secure more supplies and soon. One small step for Astro Citizen, one giant leap for whatever is left of humanity. Uh, did he venture off into the sands? Okay, so they took it though. So we're good. Holy crap. What am I gonna do? Let's make another freaking soup. We're gonna need it. Is he no longer hungry? Okay, so he's not starving anymore. He's hungry. They have to eat that much? That's right. I need to be making soup literally every fucking... Okay, Captain, there's a huge construct of some kind approaching the shuttle it's neither animal nor robot it's made out of moving crystal latices uh like a giant walking crystal saurus <laughs> oh that was one hell of a hit the crystal saurus slammed into the shuttle and is currently scraping the hole open with its claws but i don't know i think it's trying to extract our minerals captain how would you stop this i can't i don't have a gun we're dead it's over dude I don't have any more soup. We're making soup. I needed to have made soup yesterday. Achievement unlock. Crafty. Hey, I got an achievement. You chose to do nothing to stop the crystal source attack in the shuttle. It scraped at the hull for a few hair-raising minutes before wandering off. I guess it got what it came for. The standard Astro Citizen program protocol for dealing with monsters of unknown origin, especially when U.S. government property is at risk, is appeasement. I put some of our minerals outside to make the crystal source go away. You can thank me later, you know, for saving your life. DD is still out. Crafting completed. Doom available. Soup. Cool. So we will craft one more soup because we're going to need that. 
Uh, let's take a look here. Captain, a crewmate spotted a blue veiny fruit glowing out of a crack in the ground nearby. It is pulsating slightly. Should someone give the fruit a try? Normally, I'd refrain from leaving such a rash and irresponsible decision up to a human, but there are some empty stems nearby. Perhaps it is edible. All right, let's send Baby. He's super loyal. I, I, that doesn't make any sense, but I'm going with it. Okay, so who gets food? You can't eat, so Baby, because you're so loyal, let's end that day. Apparently, they just need a lot of food. Holy crap. Day 15. Oh my god. You announced that the strange little fruit near the ship was worth trying out, and Baby's hand shot up. However, the joyous look on his face as he sunk his teeth in quickly turned to horror. Oh no. The remaining half was full of wriggling purple worms. He began trying to spit it out, but fell into a spasm, and woke a few minutes later, saying his mind was buzzing, as if it at double speed. He flipped a handstand and perambulated around the shuttle. Uh, clearly those worms did something. Let's hope it, the effects don't turn. You remain quite alert. Crafting completed. We are starving. <sighs> okay, you were hungry, so we got two soups. Let's make another soup, dude. Yeah, so how's he doing? His sanity is alert, so nothing's really wrong with him. Nothing's really wrong. Greetings, tax evader. Excuse me? Your taxes are 29003 years overdue. The black sphere beeping the words menacingly, menacingly, sorry, is an intergalactic tax collector. I let it in because its credentials looked absolutely legitimate and civil servants are due respect. Uh, it deems you liable for this entire planet. I knew a surprise visit was in order, and here you are. I will begin by confiscating your ship. Step aside or else the sphere commands do something, Captain. Intelligence That's all I can do. I am a nerd. Okay, that's all I got. So save me and baby. Wait, baby's not starving anymore, is he? No. So she's starving now. Okay, so we'll do me and her. And her. And we'll craft another soup. Cool. Um, she's still out. She should be back. She should come back, like, right now, right? Are we dead? We're dead. No, day 16. Space Explorer. Hey! She's back! A tax collector was requis requi requisitioning... Our ship. You claim to be a space tourist willing to recommend this quadrant. You spun tails sweet enough to put ten diabetics into a coma. A boisterous, tax-paying tourist industry would begin soon with your eager recommendations. The intergalactic tax collector backed down. Good shit, dude. He gave you an option to file a complaint describing procedures more painful than a root canal with three terabytes of forms and a 60-year wait. Uh, assured you have no grievances, it left. Captain, I told you I started up the crafting system in the back of the shuttle. I recommend utilizing the machine. I did that, didn't I? Didi's back from her sandy walk of solitude. She seems weak, calorically deficient, and disturbed. But what matters is that she's still breathing. You listen as she begins to vividly describe the events of her arid episode. Oh, crap, I got a lot of stuff. Okay. Didi's attacked by Vindicator, a biotech-enhanced living weapon from ancient times. She managed to escape but sustained injuries. Okay, so she's gonna die, bleed out. There were rocky outcroppings where Dee Dee harvested some minerals with the shovel. Got 13 minerals. Mineral columns grew from the desert like fingers. Got more minerals. Sand got everywhere, but it's over now. The silence gave Dee Dee plenty of time to think. On the statues of the cows. I brought the thing. I brought the trophy. You remain quite alert. Uh, crafting completed. We did the soup. Okay. We brought it back. What? What? We brought... Why do we bring it back? Upgrade. Can we upgrade our soup? <laughs> Oh, we can upgrade our system. Holy crap. Uh, I don't know what this does, dude. I want to wait. Let's just keep crafting. Keep crafting stuff. Okay. Captain, we were able to detect transmissions of unknown origin. Unfortunately, the communications console has been damaged during landing, and we cannot make anything out of them. Or reply, for that matter. We could hardwire our primitive... I can't even do it, dude. I can't even freaking do it. All right, who's starving? You're hungry, 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 starving. Okay, so we have two soups means we can give one to her and then I'll give one to my captain and that should be good in the day <sighs> how the hell are we still alive day 17 excellent okay lack of a handheld communicator effectively stopped you from fixing the communications console too bad we remain stuck in this place with no way to contact the outside world our situation has not improved I know I urge you to connect the operations communicator to the communications console as soon as possible captain Awesome. Okay, so he's starving, hungry, hungry, 
hungry. Okay. So, we could... Upgrade, right? Our communication, navigation system, crafting module, spacesuit. Let's upgrade this. I don't know what it does, but it might enable us to make multiple soups, right? Oh no, Captain, one of the storage lockers is jammed and cannot be opened. It gets worse. It's my favorite locker. We will lose access to some of our supplies if we do nothing. Also, I will be, uh, sad. You need to act, Captain. <sighs> brains, dude. Brains. Always brains. And we'll continue. So who is starving? Who's starving? Well, we'll just give him the food. We're fine. So we'll upgrade a crafting system. Let's see if we can craft some more. Okay, day 18. Good job getting that locker open, Captain. It took you a while to figure out how to lockpick the thing, but your one in a million brain helped. Uh, or your one in a million lockpick. Or both. You remain alert. Cool. Megan is starving. That's uh, you, right? Starving. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and give you some food. Uh, you are hungry, hungry, uh, damaged. Oh, the shovel is damaged. I can repair the shovel. Maybe. Oh, it has to take- it takes two days to upgrade? Are you shitting me? While checking on the ship's exterior, you stumble upon something half buried under the dirt. You take a few minutes to uncover it and find that it's apparently a can of soup held in a stone sand. Uh, you could try to pull it out by force or probably damage the carving- No, we're gonna use intelligence, dude. Let's get that soup. Come on. We gotta- we gotta- Get our rations up, man. This is bad. Space engineer. I got uh, some achievements. Space engineer. You decided that the uncovered can of soup you found next to your shuttle should be left unmolested. You did take a good look at it, and the carving that held it in place before got covered by the dirt again. It made you wonder about how, even on this alien and uncaring world, you found something familiar. It filled you with a sense of calmness. Quite welcome in your current circumstances. Okay. Crafting module. Yes! Uh, Didi is starving, so give you some food. Oh god, we have none. Holy shit. Oh, wait! Armor. Whoa, atomic battery. We don't have any resources for soup. Oh my god, we're dead. We're fucking dead. Oh, communicator! We needed that, right? Is that not what he said we needed? Uh, I'm worried about some of the crew members. A few of them have been suffering vivid nightmares the past few nights, waking up each morning complaining someone named Kauthulu. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. It's commanding them to worship it. I've been packing up a steady, unintelligible broadcast from the ruins over since we crashed here. It may interfere with human brainwaves, especially, or specifically, the subconscious, inducing negative emotions. I want to run a test to see if positive thinking will encounter this broadcast. Who? He's the positive thinker, dude. He is super loyal and alert. He's a friend. Oh, my God. Wait, I'm fulfilled. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to send me, because I'm fulfilled. Sorry, guys. Uh, everyone else is pretty much gonna die. We don't have any resources to make soup. Oh, wait, I can recycle! I'm dumb! I am so bad at this game already. You tried thinking happy thoughts to nullify the weird broadcast effects, and this, mostly, made the problem go away. You soon stopped having the nightmares. Oh, cool. I decoded the broadcast. It was an ad for an ancient radio drama, The Call of Cthulhu. The advertisers tried mimicking the story's plot, in which an eldritch cow monster makes people go crazy by appearing to them in dreams. Clever marketing! Excellent. So we got a thing, a communicator, which is what we needed, right? Alright, so let me recycle so I can recycle the lighter. We've already used it, so maybe we don't need it. Captain, the communication module remains broken. We are completely deaf. Blind even. It is entirely possible that someone is out there. Yes, communicator. We got it. Okay, so we don't have any food, and we're gonna die. This is great. We don't die right now. Day 21. Hello world. Got another achievement. Hello, world. Great success, Captain. Communicator attached to the com communications console worked like a charm. I won't judge the aesthetics since we can finally receive and answer transmissions. Now all we need to do is wait for someone to contact us. Someone will find us eventually. The crew was visible, visibly excited by this incredible feat of engineering. They were only slightly smirking while looking at the patched communications console. Tomorrow will be great, Captain. You're still alert. Starving. 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 They're starving. Okay. Craft. Soup. Wait, we can create a sock, sock puppet. Okay. Tape. We don't need soup. Okay, we received a pamphlet on our window. Try Ebison. Uh, universal shopping from the comfort of your own planet. Free gift from or with sign up. Wow, neat. The Ebison network uh, lets you order pretty much anything except food and water. Damn it. And it will arrive via portal within one or two galactic business days. There's a catch, though. The account creation process requires you to jump through some hoops. I mean, literally. Uh, you have to leap through a string of teleport or temporal portals to become verified. 
The fine print says there's no risk of death or dismemberment, but insanity is possible. Okay, well, let's use uh, agility since we're have three bars on that one. <laughs> Holy crap, we taped it to the console. Wow. Wow. Okay, so we're crafting, right? We're doing the soup. Hopefully people don't die. All right, look at this guy's fro. Love it. You touched the floor and quickly sprinted through the Ibasen, Ibasen sign-up portal, disappearing into the dimension breach with a flash of blue lightning. The shuttle rocked and you popped out the other side of the portal unharmed. The fine print of the pamphlet expanded to show that it would take one to two galactic business days for your verification to process at which time you could begin your universal shopping experience. The pamphlet then expanded again to define one galactic business day as what or 1000 earth years oh, son of a bitch <laughs> so i just ruined myself for nothing okay another portal opened and a well-dressed green tentacle appeared and gave you a communicator i got another one thank you for signing up for e boss and here's your free gift i don't need that i mean i guess it's not the worst thing in the world all right so i need to stay alive so i gotta give myself some food unfortunately however we are going to craft some more food because we have no choice Ah, <sighs> Captain, crewmate Dawkins is staring at you and smiling. It's a little disturbing, to be honest. Uh, she's been doing it for a while now. She says she only wants to chat and lift her spirits because you look a little down. I believe Dee Dee is just trying to be a good friend. But Captain, you're busy right now. You know, doing Captain stuff. You're the boss here, but I think you should not abandon your post for some idle chats. Do you wish to mingle with the crew? Fuck yeah, dude. Talk to her. Maybe you get a girlfriend. Dude, she is staring straight at him. <laughs> He's like, uh -huh. Okay, uh, that's it, right? Yeah, we're good. We're gonna die. <laughs> she's, I mean, she's gonna die today, right? I mean, I've been starving for like five days. Who's dead? Oh my god, I called it! <laughs> she is so very dead. And now he's happy. You spend most of the afternoon with Dee Dee discussing your favorite types of candy and sticking. You know what? I, I actually endorse that decision. You know, before she died, uh, she got to do what she wanted to do, and that was talk to me. Dude, I feel good about it. I feel good about giving that last bit of gift before the light. Uh, how dare you? I'm writing this down as insubordination. Stop laughing at once. What? Oh, so we were making fun of you. <sighs> you no longer seem to be starving. You should eat something. Dee Dee starved to death. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how do we, do we do something about the body? Oh, we got more soup. How did we get so much soup? Is it just random? We could do another expedition for some food. Uh, yeah, let's go for this one. Let's go for this one. And we'll send out him as the loyal dude. He's pretty good with strength, so he should be fine. Uh, he will take the mask. And he'll also take this. Now, we will craft... Uh, oh, we don't have any more, right? So we gotta recycle the shovel for ten of these. Because we don't need the shovel anymore. I don't think. We might. Uh, thin stick, skinned, or headstrong, one is right, other wrong. That's the message we've been receiving on repeat for- on the comms all morning. Uh, I'm having a tough time finding the right channel to block. Maybe you should try solving this riddle instead. I can't do anything. God damn it. <laughs> End of day. Well, we already lost one person. It's not too bad. Almost a month, dude. Alright, deciding you won't partake in riddles poised by strange voices in the ether, you patiently waited for something about the message to change. After some time, the message just stopped transmitting. The riddle's author either got bored or you did the right thing by doing nothing at all. Congratulations, Captain, and you say you never win anything at all. Maybe venture off into the swamps, uh, say a prayer to the god of all lurky, tentacly things that he comes back. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Still starving. I realized I had food. I should have given some people some food. That's really dumb of me. Okay, so clearly I have to give it to us too, right? Right? The wind which was- I can't do this. But anyway, the wind which was blowing ceaselessly for the past few hours has uncovered a part of the sculpture near the ship. A cow's muzzle open as if in expectation. A sacrificial post- Oh, wait, why not the thing? I wonder if we have anything in hand on hand to offer to this carving. God damn it, we got rid of the lighter. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Alright. Soup. Soup. We're good. <laughs> Why did I make that decision? It's like the game knows. Okay, despite Megan's suggestions, you decided you'd rather not offer anything to the cow statue and wait for it to be covered by the sands again. 
The more you and your crewmates, uh, or crewmate thought about it, the more hungry you got. Something about its wide open mouth kept coming back to you. And the rumbling in your stomachs increased. Crafting complete, new item available. So we're no longer starving, we're just hungry. But... Crap, I can't, I can't. <sighs> oh, we can recycle the communicator. We don't need that. We don't need two of them. Unless it breaks. But then we can repair it. We're fine. We're fine. Captain, I am detecting a troubling buildup of mental tension. Recommended course of action, throw an epic party. I took the liberty of inviting myself. I can't do it. I can't do it, dude. We have some soup. Let's just go ahead and give it... Give it to us, dudes. Give it to us. He's not gonna be back until tomorrow, I think. Hey there, Captain Buzzkill. Feeling better? I bet you- I bet you'd be much better off after a night of partying with your Astro. Your lost, your friend Astro. Okay. So we got the recycling done, which means we can craft some more soup, because it's absolutely necessary. Although I want the atomic battery. Maybe I'm alright on soup. Cause he might come back with soup. And then we could just save it, right? So let's let's craft something else. Let's craft an atomic battery. Let's figure out what this does. We need to experiment around so we can get a better familiarity. So our next run, we can do even better. The shuttle sounds a bit rickety, Captain. A fan above the terminal is making an, a clicking sound, that, and there's a big cable knot behind one of the panels. I recommend a touch of spring cleaning. We'll, uh, we'll do that. Intelligence. Intelligence is the way to go. Continue. Can we make it to a month? single month. Can we get rid of this girl's body? For real? It's nasty. You and Megan untangled the wiring behind one of the shuttle's panels. You found two pills of Astro Citizen multivitamins along the wiring space. Or at least it looked like the multivitamins you remember. I still think it was mice droppings. Either way, you both feel <laughs> revitalized after eating them. Oh. Wait, did that actually do something? Nah, she's weak. What are you talking about, dude? Oh, it needs another day. Oh, great. Good news, Captain. We got an incoming transmission playing now. Oh, no. The communication is scrambled. The signal is not strong enough. Maybe you can get on top of the ship and try to adjust the receiving dish. Yes, just do it. I don't care what happens. They don't have any soup. All right, keep going. Just do it, dude. Get up there. Give it your all. Are we dead? No, we're not dead. Okay, good. All right, exciting news, Captain. You were able to adjust the receiving dish on top of the ship, making our silent reception much better. Now, next time we will receive a transmission, we should be able to hear it loud and clear. All we need to do now is wait to be contacted again. Let's be patient, Captain. A rescue might finally be within reach. Still no status report from Baby. Perhaps you should accept that he was eaten by- Oh, no! He's dead! Damn it, I remember when those messages comes up, that means he's, he's definitely done. Okay, so we got our goals. Just awaiting contact. Son of a bitch. Alright, what did this say now? Uh, crafting completed new item veil atomic battery. Right there. Okay. I don't know what that does, but we might need it eventually. Uh, right now, I can go ahead and crea uh, create... Bring the lighter back in case the thing comes back. Yeah, let's do the lighter this time. Okay. Well, we don't have an infinite supply of soup. We do have some old science equipment tucked away on various parts of the shuttle in case of emergency research. If you're willing to lose a can of soup, we can't lose a can of soup, dude. Stop. Stop giving me things I can't even do anything about. So this guy's not going to return with any, uh... <laughs> We're going to die. It's over. It's over, dude. It's over. You didn't mess with your soup supply, deciding that even a single can was more valuable than whatever knowledge could be gained from the experiment. Uh, besides, you claimed the taste was perfect just the way it was. It reminded you of Earth, your home, and your past. Ah, yes. The taste of mediocrity. Okay. The shuttle is in danger, Captain. We are on the path of a vicious gale of a nasty chemical composition, which is threatening to sabotage our air fall. Son of a bitch. They need to be protected, but I lost the remote control due to micro damage from the winds. They have to be closed manually. This toxic tornado is close enough that going out there would, without the proper equipment would be suicide. We can't do anything. We can't, I can't do anything. I have no soap. Day 30, we made it, dude. A month. Holy shit. <sighs> Not wanting to risk your health. Is generally a good instinct, Captain. But this time around, it might have been the wrong call. The toxic wind blew over the shuttle and it got into our unsecured air filters. The chemical makeup of the winds is such that most human organisms are sure to suffer severe pain, nausea, and a pl plethora of other nasty consequences, some of which I see are already manifesting. Yuck. Do try to keep your insides, you know, inside. Son of a bitch. You're hurt and starving. All right. Craft. More soup. Go. <sighs> The damage from the crash is worse than estimated, Captain. Several uh, critical systems were damaged. You can live without a trash compactor, but need air. What would you use to make the repairs? Atomic battery. Because we need the lighter in case the thing, the mouth opens itself. 
Again. Give myself some soup. I don't care about her. Myself. Okay, you use the battery as a spare power source to repair the shuttle's damaged life support system uh, while the main power was offline. The work took a few hours, but you brought the life support system back online with no serious complications. Megan is still starving. Cool. We got food, though. We got food. Keep crafting the soup, dude. That's what we need right now. The walls are closing in. You're growing paranoid. You're having constant invasive thoughts of going outside, even though you probably die. Someone has to tell you, Captain. You have a you have cabin. I mean, shuttle fever. Oh, shit. The good news is this is normal. Claustrophobia is inevitable in this situation. The bad news, the only cure is to find a way to entertain yourself. What will you do? Soup. Eat the soups. D don't be hungry, dude. That's the easy one. That's an easy decision, my guy. Easy decision. Oh, you know what? We can send her out on an expedition, dude. Expedition. Okay, so we don't need to go there. We need to go somewhere that gets science. Science points? We'll go this way. We'll send you out. Yeah. You'll, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. We don't have a mask or anything. You can just fucking go, dude. She's gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna be alone. After this, I'm gonna need to craft, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna need to craft some, uh, some socks, dude. I'm gonna go crazy. <sighs> you use the soup to cure your shuttle fever, but any benefit, uh, imparted by consuming the delicious liquid meal was temporary. When the soup was gone, you realized that not even the pleasures of the palate could liberate you from your cold alloy prison. 17th century poet John Milton once said, The mind is its own place, and in itself can make a heaven of hell. But John Milton never lived in the age of space travel. He never saw the things you've seen. You had thoughts of stabbing John Milton, which is probably unhealthy. Okay, so she's gone. Uh, let's craft a po I can't. Fuck. I should have done a mask. That's tape. Tape might be useful. Dude, I don't know. <sighs> I am a machine, and machines cannot hear voices. The voices I am not hearing right now are getting very loud, though. Oh, you hear them too? My weight sensors are picking something up as well. Two-dimensional species. A two-dimensional species? That explains why my cameras miss them. Quite vicious, I gather. Uh, with one decisive yell, the voices are approaching fast. Okay, burn them, dude. Burn the fuck out of them. Give this guy some soup, my man. All right. Holy shit. Freaking two-dimensional species coming in coming into my, my compartments, dude. That's not cool. Okay, two-dimensional species invaded your ship. You could not see them coming until you turned on a lighter. Suddenly, the empty space around you cast a multitude of shadows on every surrounding wall. Invisible to the 3D world most of the time, they could not handle the spotlight. Bashfully, they slipped out one by one. Staring might be rude, but apparently it wins battles and saves lives. You are still very mentally stable. Very good, and we got tape for that. Look at freaking tape, my guy. Uh, so I guess I could upgrade my lighter? What does this do? Let's just see what an upgrade does. Let's upgrade the lighter. Whatever that does. Captain, our systems are working below their optimal levels. I was able to determine that our wiring might be at fault. Well, do an intelligence and fix that shit up, dude. Eat some soup. Stop being so damn hungry all the time. Tinkerer. I got an achievement. Uh, nicely done, Captain. You proved yourself smart enough to fix the malfunctioning component. The ship's systems are now working at standard capacity. The ship is really falling apart, I'm afraid. There was not enough time to properly finish it. Who could have expected an atomic apocalypse to break out so suddenly? Well, I could, but no one listened to me. No one ever listens to computerized assistance. Oh, well, that's life, I guess. Just one and zeros, but mostly zeros. Remaining quite alert. Okay, so what will we craft this time? We got tape. Uh, wait, I upgraded the, the lighter. Let's upgrade the atomic battery, dude. Let's just freaking do it. Let's just do it. Captain, it's finally happening. We're receiving a transmission. It appears to originate from somewhere on this planet. Let's have a listen. Oh, that's interesting. It turns out there's a group of fellow crash survivors out there. They are also trapped on the planet, but seem to have some resources that you lack. Perhaps with their supplies, you'd be able to get your ship off the ground. Yes, dude, intelligence. A member of this other group is still on the line. Will you attempt to befriend them or try to threaten them to establish your authority? No. We're, go we're very intelligent at this point. There's absolutely no reason that we shouldn't just use intelligence. I don't have any more soup. He's still starving. God damn it. Okay. Come on. Good news? Please, good news? Okay, yesterday you spoke with uh, a group of other survivors. I see the suits back. God damn it, she died. However, despite you being at your most charming, you failed to gain their trust. <laughs> 
You also didn't manage to find out anything about the group. Other than that, they are stuck on this planet as well and are looking for a way to leave. Perhaps you would be able to figure something out together. For now, the other survivors asked for some time to decide how to proceed from here. They promised to contact you again shortly. I didn't expect a good outcome from Megan. Perhaps you should admit <laughs> to yourself that she got lost following the lights. Never follow the lights. Working in your best interest, I made the call to prop up a replacement suit for all your exploration needs. Thanks. She's dead. So I am alone. Therefore, I guess all I... Fuck, dude. I gotta recycle something. Well, I can't... Oh. Oh. I can recycle these for a bunch of stuff. Oh, shit. Alright, let's do the tape for now. Then we can make some food. He's gonna die. Attention, Captain. I'm detecting a leak in our re... Uh, Oh. It's over, dude. There is no surviving this. Yeah. Yeah, it's dead. We're dead. Come on. The end. The end. No. What? How are we still... Whoa, wait. Oh, there's the end. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, Starlog. Your wounds did not heal. You did not survive. Radioactive sauna used to be a pipe dream, but now you've made it possible. Too bad it only lasted until the coolant backup kicked in. Also, too bad about the impact on your health, but I'm sure it was worth it. Megan is still in poor health. Re Wait, what? Megan is still in poor health. Recycling operations completed. Wait! Megan was still alive? You perished. No! <laughs> ah, in the adventure. Wow, good stuff. Holy crap, this game is dope. I I can't wait to play more. I literally am going, I'm going to play more right now. Anyway, I'm going to cut this video here, though. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're excited for 60 Parsecs. Again, it comes out tomorrow. Link will be down in the description below for you to check it out yourself. And if you want some more, be sure to hit that like button and let me know down in the comment section below. Also, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you can get notified as soon as I put out that new one. Thanks again for watching. I love you all. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.